Oscars 2023, Everything Everywhere All at Once Leads Nominations. Everything Everywhere All at Once, the action comedy starring Michelle Yeoh is an unsuspecting laundrette owner who battles evil by connecting with different versions of herself in parallel universes, heads into this year's Oscar race the title to beat with 11 nominations. As well as nods for Yeoh and her supporting co-stars Jamie Lee Curtis, Stephanie Hsu, and Kei Hui Kwan, the film is up for Best Picture, Director, for Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert, Costume Design, Editing, Original Song, Original Score and Original Screenplay. Yo's nomination makes the Malaysian star the first Asian Academy Award Best Actress nominee, 1936 nominee Merle Oberon suppressed her Indian roots, 2023 also marks a record for the number of Asian actors nominated, with the Wales Hong Chow joining Shu on the supporting actress shortlist. I think this is beyond just me, Yo told The Hollywood Reporter after the announcement. It represents so many who have hoped to be seen in this way, to have a seat at the table, to say, I am of value too, I need to be seen too. Hard on Everything Everywhere's heels are the Banshees of Inisherin, Martin McDonagh's black comedy starring Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson as former friends on a small Irish island, and All Quiet on the Western Front, Edward Berger's devastating Netflix drama about an idealistic German soldier sent to the trenches. In the nominations, which were revealed in Beverly Hills on Tuesday, Banshees took nods for Best Picture, Directing, Editing, Original Screenplay, Leading Actor, for Farrell, Supporting Actor, for both Gleason and Barry Keoghan, Supporting Actress, Production Design and Original Score. Feels like a huge family outing on the cards, said Gleason, while Farrell offered a heartfelt congratulations to all the lads. Meanwhile Berger's film, which scooped a record equaling 14 BAFTA nominations last Thursday, has no acting nominations, but is recognized in nine other categories, including Best Picture. Surprise inclusions on that 10-strong list include Tar, Todd Field's drama about an imperious conductor, played by Kate Blanchett, which scored a better-than-expected six nominations, as well as Top Gun, Maverick. The high-octane belated sequel starring Tom Cruise also overperformed with six nominations, including one for adapted screenplay, though there was no fourth nod for Cruise himself. Instead, those shortlisted for Best Actor were Farrell, fellow Irishman Paul Mescal, for Aftersun, Austin Butler, for Elvis, Brendan Fraser, for The Whale, and Bill Nye, for Living. This is bananas, said Mescal, going on to dedicate his nomination to After Sun's director, Charlotte Wells, and his young co-star, Frankie Corio, who I love dearly. This is truly a special moment for everyone involved in After Sun, he said. To be recognized by the Academy is such an insane honor and I'm so utterly grateful.